Guys, I don't care what it is you're doing. I don't care what it is that you want to do. I don't care. You got to really understand there are very few things left on planet Earth, very few goals that just have never been achieved. That have never, there's, you know, when you're sitting there and you're giving yourself excuses and reasons why it can't be done, think of all of the millions of people who have done it before you. Several years ago, I went to a few PR agencies and I asked them, would they be willing to take me on as a client because I was interested in public speaking? And, um, you know, they asked me the common questions and pretty much kind of sent me on my way because I didn't have experience in public speaking. Now, granted, you know, in terms of my career, my experience on um, building a business, I had plenty of experience. I just didn't have experience in public speaking. So, you know, I go on my way. No big deal. I, I don't know if at that time I was beyond committed to doing it. But, you know, it's funny because I woke up this morning and I'm just thinking to myself. And, um, you know, whenever you have a goal, there's always challenges. You know, there's always things in front of you that would have you believe it can't be done. You know, it's impossible. Why you? And as I'm sitting and I'm thinking this morning, all of the different variables and roadblocks and obstacles before me doing what I'm doing right this second start to come into my mind. And, um, you know, really like think about this. Like, you know, even I start to question myself, like Sean, you know, you have some audacity. You know, you're gonna public speak. You're gonna talk to people. Like, why would people want to listen to you? You know, there are people out there and they're doing it and they're so polished and they, you know, have so many um, insightful and intelligent things to speak about. You know, what is it about you? So I'm dealing with that this morning and I'm also dealing with, you know, how are you going to get this content out there? You know, you were willing to pay PR agencies to help get you speaking dates and really help to get your name out there and they turned your money down. Like, how are you going to go about it now in terms of really getting yourself out there when you have spent forever staying away from social media? Um, I'm a person who deliberately, you know, didn't want to have social platforms because I just didn't feel I had anything to say. And I didn't want to just chase the trends, you know, just for the sake of chasing the trends and really sign up on these social platforms and put these false images of myself out there. And finally... You know, now that I have something to say and now that I feel like I'm doing something that's so authentic to me, I never built up a following. And it's like, damn, like, you know, I got that roadblock in front of me. You know, on one hand, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm ready and, and I'm bold enough to really get in front of this camera and put myself out there. You know, if, if the PR agencies weren't willing to help me do it, well... I'm gonna do it my way. But I didn't even have, well, I don't even have, you know, a huge social following. But as I'm sitting there and I'm damn near talking myself out of doing something that, you know, makes me feel alive when I do it and I feel, you know, have so much spirit and I, and I love to get in front of the camera and talk and talk to people live and have one-on-ones with people because I love to help. I love to give back. I love to be educated and I love to be inspired myself by people's stories. And, um, you know, I started to think, you know, God just works in mysterious ways because just as I'm sitting here and, and all I can see is the roadblocks, I, I, I started to think about, you know, the, the, the phrase, there's always a way, figure it out, there's always a way. And from that, I thought of this quote that I wrote down many years ago um, from a woman, Diana Nyad. And, you know, we'll talk about her briefly, but Diana Nyad, <laughs> What an inspiration. If you guys don't know her, go look her up. You know, this is a woman who, at 64 years old, 64, swam from Havana, Cuba to the, Flor to the Flor Florida Keys. 111 miles swimming in water 
at 64 years old. 53 hours it took this woman to do this marathon swim from Cuba to Florida. And her mantra was find a way. Find a way. And as I'm thinking about her story and I went and I'm researching because, you know, I was fascinated by her story when she made that swim, that historic swim. And this morning, the find a way um, quote came into my head because that's what she would always say. It's find like when she was swimming, 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 she would be like, find it when, when there was no energy. She's tired, you know, exhausted. Imagine swimming 50 something hours. Like half of us can't even stay up for 24 hours straight without being exhausted. So imagine 24 hours, day one. 48 hours, day two, and you still, you know, this is not just sitting up, you know, where, where she's in a chair with her feet up, but, you know, she's challenging herself to stay awake. She is working for those 53 hours straight. Impossible. And I started to think about myself, and it was like, and I remembered my old days coming up in the bad boy record system. And you know, I love that system because no excuse was acceptable. It did not matter what obstacles we were up against. You know, no matter what it was, no matter what the challenges were, the culture of the company was figure it out. You know, like literally our bosses would look us in the face or I would say, my, let me just give Harv Pierre his props. Harv Pierre would look you straight in the face without a smile, without like, like you'd be like, Harv, this is impossible. Figure it out. And it was that simple. And everything that we thought was impossible, when our back was against the wall, when we were not allowed to have any excuses, no excuse was acceptable, somehow, mysteriously, we figured it out. And I, you know, it, 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 it brings me back to, to Diana. She started. Her first attempt, her first attempt at swimming from Havana, Cuba to Florida was when she was 28 years old. 28 years old. She stayed in the water for 42 hours and they had to abort it. 28, in the prime, she had in her prime as a swimmer. She has youth on her side. She has everything going for her. In the water, 42 hours, and they got to call it off. Fast forward to 2013. The woman is now 64. What are most 64-year-olds doing? If they are not retired, they are thinking. You know, they're a year away from retirement. They are in the HR office, and they're going over all of their their um, pension plans and, and, and I got one more year left to work and then I'm going to put my feet up on a beach. At 64 years old, this woman was breaking records. And it really just helps you to understand because I don't know where you're at in your journey. I don't know what it is that you're talking yourself out of. I don't know what it is that's in your heart, in your spirit, in your mind that you really want to do, but you're giving yourself every excuse under the sun for not doing it. And you know, you just have to think, right? Because all of the data, all of the science, everything in terms of the analytics says that this woman should not have been able to make that swim. But what they didn't account for was the human spirit. The human spirit is amazing. It is unconquerable. It is undeniable. And if your human spirit, if there's something in you that you are telling yourself, I need to do it. It's not that I want to do this. There's, there's this pull. It's this thing in me that I can't stop dreaming about this dream, whatever that might be. Forget about the obstacles because they will never measure up to the human spirit. You know, we as human beings, we are arguably 
one of the frailest, you know, creatures God has ever made. But we can think, we can adapt. We have something that is not quantifiable, which is willpower, which is the human spirit, which is the desire to never quit, never give up. And for any of you, no matter what you're doing, there are so many lessons to be taken from Diana's story, right? When she finally, finally made it to that beach in Key West, she said three things. You know, her first word, she's talking to the media. You know, she's in tears. She's exhausted. She's 64, a senior citizen. And she just completes a swim that nobody in history has ever completed without a shark cage around her. You know, she's just in this water. And she says, number one, never give up. Never give up. No matter what your dream is, no matter what it is that has eluded you year over year during the course of your lifetime, Never give up. Number two, you're never too old. She was 64 when she completed that swim. I don't know how old you are. I don't know what's been eluding you, you know, for, for the course of your life. I don't know what you have put off, what you've been procrastinating, what dream of yours has not yet been realized. But you're not too old. And the third thing she said it's real. She said, this might look like a solo sport, but it's really a team sport. Because when she jumped in that water, she had a team of 35 people that were around her, that was watching her, that helped her prepare, really helped her in all of the months leading up to this so that she can get her body, her mind, and, and you know, these are shark experts. These are... Um, people who understood the currents in the Gulf Stream, so forth and so on. It was a team sport, although she was the one who had to physically make that swim. It was a team sport. And to understand in this life, you know, you might seem like you're doing something and it's all just you, but no, you know, along the way, there has been teachers, there has been mentors, there has been your parents, there have been people who have, have input things into your life that have that will prepare you or has prepared you depending on where you're at in your journey for whatever it is that you are trying to do or you want to do it's never a solo sport there are so many people who have prepared all of us for the day that we make that swim guys i don't care what it is you're doing I don't care what it is that you want to do. I don't care. You got to really understand there are very few things left on planet Earth, very few goals that just have never been achieved. That have never, there's, you know, when you're sitting there and you're giving yourself excuses and reasons why it can't be done, think of all of the millions of people who have done it before you. Maybe there's just one person who's done it before you. And that person is there to only show you it can be done done. It can be done. So whatever your roadblocks are, whatever it is that is in your way, even if it's just you and your own procrastination, please understand there's always a way. There's always a way. Go out there and figure it out. And I guess in Diana's words, find a way. Peace and love, guys. Make every move a power move and I'll catch you on the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.